In the previous video, we went through setting up the who and where of a welcome message. Now we're going to run through writing the message. With Intercom Engage, we always advise that you make your messages clear and concise, clearly explaining your point without going into great detail. When writing your messages, you have lots of options for how that message will be sent. The first set of options is the message type. With this, we have three choices, chat, note, or post. Chat and Note let you send your message in a very informal way, which invites conversation from the user. Using Post will send your message as a full screen notification. It's quite intrusive for, to the user's flow, so we'd recommend using it only for major announcements. For our welcome message, we'll set the message type to Note as we want to invite conversation without interrupting the users. Next, we'll set the response type, which determines how the user who received the message can respond to us. For this, we want to invite the user to ask questions, so we'll use the text response type. The other option is to set the response type to reactions. This will give the user the option to respond using emojis, which is great if you don't want to invite conversation from your users. Finally, we'll set it to show the full message when it's sent. The other options are as a badge or as a snippet. Sending as a badge would present the message to your users as a notification, as a snippet, the users will be presented with a short bit of the message. In our case, we want them to see the full message as it's important they see it. Now we've set it up, let's write and format the message. We're going to welcome the user with a personal message and a call to action to read our beginner's guide. To stay personal, you can insert data points in your message using this nice feature here. It lets you take data points from your intercom database and automatically insert them into your message. So for this message, I want to welcome the user by first name. So by inserting this data point, the user's first name will be pulled from intercom and displayed in the message. With this option, you'll be asked to set a fallback in case a data point isn't available. For our message, we'll set it to there. So the fallback will be hi there. Now let's write the body of our message. To speed this up, I'm going to copy and paste some text I've already written. Once we have our text in the composer, we can format it in a number of different ways by highlighting it. As you can see, once we highlight the text, we're given a number of options. We can make the text bold or italic, we can make it a heading, we can link it, or we can center it. For our welcome, we'll make it appear like a personal message the user would receive from their friend, so we'll leave it unformatted for now. When composing a message, there are lots of options to input extra pieces of content. To add these extra pieces of content, we just click the plus sign that appears on the left. As you can see, we can insert an image, a button, a video, a social button, or we can just attach a file. For this example, we'll insert a button. The button will act as a call to action to read our beginner's guide. With the button, we'll need to add the hyperlink and button text as well. Finally, let's set the goal for this message so we can track its success. Our goal for this message is to get this user to read the beginner's guide. So we'll set the goal to read beginner's guide is true. If you can remember back to the start, we set the audience to people who haven't read our beginner's guide. So after a user reads this message, we would hope they'd click the button to read our beginner's guide. And that's it. We just created our very first in-app user auto message. I hope that wasn't too difficult to follow. Give it a go in your test environment and see how you get on.